Hello, God's children. Jesus loves you. The update on the rapture and Israel nuke subs near Iran. Nukes come down, we go up. Um, Israel quadruples Air Force capability to strike thousands of terror targets per day. In a single day, Israel plan planes can strike thousands of terror targets and exceed the Israel Defense Forces achievements during the operations. And uh, the Temple Mount is a Jewish for a day. The Temple Mount became Jewish again for at least one day on Tuesday. The Temple Organization reported that about 400 Jews have ascended to the Mount in the morning hours. Um, with the things going on with the, the Temple and the things going on with, uh, you know, with Israel and stuff, we do not know the day and hour our Lord Jesus comes back. Only the Father knows. Redemption is nigh. Be ready. I'm going to take you to uh, Psalms chapter 83. Keep thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, the enemies make a tumult, and they have hate thee, have lifted up to the head. They have taken craftily counsel against the people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consents, they have confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites, and Mohad and Hagamites, Jebo and Ammonon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Asur also joined with them. They have hoping the children of Lot Selah. Do unto them as the Melites, as to Sirah, as to Jablin in the brook of Kislon, which perished in the indoor, they became a dung for the earth. Make their noble for Oreb, and like the Zeb, yet all their princes of Zeba and the Zamorah, who said, Let us take to ourselves the house of God possessions. O oh my God, make them a wheel as the stubble before the wind, as the fire burnt of the wood, and as of the flame seth in the mountains on fire. So persecute them in the tempest, and make them afraid that with storm. Fill their faces with shame, and they may seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be confronted and troubled forever. Yet let them be put to shame and perish. That man may not know they, which name alone is Jehovah, are the most high over the earth. I'll take you to Revelation chapter 6, verse 13. And the stars in the heaven fell onto the earth, as a fig tree cast her in figs, and when she is shaken unto a mighty wind. Um, I think these are going to be three stars. Which is going to mean, um, first one's going to mean nuclear missiles are coming down to the earth. And the second is going to mean that there's going to be a space rocks falling behind it. And the third is going to be, uh, behind that, it's going to be fallen angels. Let me take you to Revelation chapter 6, verse 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll, and when it rolled together, even on the mountains and islands were moved out of their places. And I believe these are going to be the nukes exploding and mushroom clouds spreading the sky like a scroll. Um, I'm going to take you to um, a news article about uh, Israel sending nuclear miss or nuclear uh, cruise missiles over by the Persian Gulf. Israel is to deploy three submarine equipped with nuclear cruise missiles in the Persian Gulf on the Sunday Sunday Times report. Um, so I believe right now the. There's three submarines sitting in the Persian Gulf, and they're waiting because they think uh, Iran's gonna, you know, take out, you know, Israel and take out their uh, military. So they're getting ready to defend. And also today, I heard that Russia is gonna help them send more cruise, send, send more missiles to Iran. So uh, we gotta see what's gonna happen here. You know, very shortly something could happen. And I believe uh, when the nukes come down, we go up. And uh, let me take you to uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as uh, travel upon a woman with child, and they should not escape. Um, God could take his saints away before sudden destruction. We don't know what's going to happen here, but um, if we get into a nuclear war, this could, you know, Fulfill the scripture of Psalms 83 and um, 
the falling stars could also be considered the nukes coming down and also asteroids and things coming down and it could be sudden destruction and that's when God could take his saints but uh, we don't know the day and hour we don't know if it's gonna fit in that way but it's a good possibility you just have to be ready Jesus is coming very very soon Jesus loves you God bless